Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. We're going to make a garden angel tonight. We have a new item in our shop. They are angel wings. I have painted them with white chalk paint. I have also added a little fawn colored chalk paint, which I will find. Um, it's like a, a tannish beige color. And then I also used a wood stain that I um, put bits and pieces of it on here and then rubbed it off with um, baby wipes. Okay, so this is what the item looked like before. And it was actually this long, so I cut it in two. This is probably a porch wrong that goes um, on a railing, but I went ahead and I painted a bunch of them white and then totally distressed them. This is going to be the body of the um, of the angel. Now, spikes are pretty expensive, so what I did today was I went to the dollar or to the thrift store, and I found knitting needles. These make awesome garden spikes. I cut off the tip and I'm going to drill a hole in the middle here and we're going to put this up through the middle and then use E6000 to adhere it. I'm also going to make a little, um, a little hole in the head and in here to mount this to here. I found that when I use the Dollar Tree skewers as like a little um, middle dowel, it really holds well. So let's start off by doing that. We're going to drill some holes. I thought you have all seen painting done, um, so you really didn't need to see that done on a live, but I thought you would want to see how I put this together. So basically, I found the flattest point, point on the uh, head of the angel, and I'm going to drill a hole through there. Okay, and then we're going to drill a hole through the middle of where the head is going to go on the body. how far down we can get that to go. See? And then what I do is I cut it off like that. We're going to put a little hot glue in here. Put this in here. It just gives you a firm base to um, attach this with. Now I think I need to go a little deeper on the hole for the head. down in there really good now. I just have to cut off a little bit. But like I said, it gives the head some support and keeps it in place. Because believe me, if you tried to glue this, it's not going to stay, especially with weather and such. Okay? Now, for the halo, I have one of these little grapevine A grapevine wreath. So we're going to use that. I still think I could cut a little more of this off. I want it to be really flat against the top of this. I think we're going to put a little E6000 on this to really get it to stay. There. That I feel better about. Alright, now let's see what I want the front to be. I think this here. 
So we're going to start by changing out the bit and making the hole for the stake in the bottom. I actually came across these, I'm not sure if they were at the thrift store or a yard sale or what, but there were four of them. And I cut them in half, so I'm able to get eight angels out of this for two dollars. So. Better if I had a drill press, get a better hole, straighter hole, anyhow. But look at that. Now, we could probably go in a little more because we want to get that as far up in there as we can go. problem about doing this inside you get everything all over at least I do but there that's a nice steak a nice steak for it to go into the ground if I need to cut this in any way I can but I really want this to be in the ground I think I'm going to try let's see if I can do it I'm going to try and cut off a little bit I had a really rough time cutting off the tip. <laughs> there. I cut one side and then I went and readjusted. Oh, this is really coming out all over, isn't it? That's why it stinks. <laughs> I'm a messy crafter. There. Okay. And these are really solid. So, we want to go ahead and we want to get some E6000 down in this hole. There we go. And then we're going to put this in there. And I will let that set up overnight. In the meantime, let's see, I kind of want that to be right about there. So, thinking, not sure if I have two short screws or not, but let's check. like to see how far down. That's a good one. Ooh, I have two. I love it when I have the right ones and I don't have to go searching. All right. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up on here like that. I'm going to change my bit. I always hate changing the bits. I usually can't get it tight enough. And then the bit slips. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put two holes in this. bit. Let's see where this is. Mm -hmm. 
right and we're going to change out the bit and put in the screwdriver bit Yep. No, that one's not going to work. It's too short. Okay, put those in first. So that way when I put them in this hole, they're kind of good, they are going to grab. But in the meantime, I'm going to put a little glue here. So when that goes through, we'll get a good solid, a good solid um, hold. There we go. darn solid. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Wow. And then we will go ahead and put this on the top of her head. Now, if we wanted to put some arms on her, this is what you would use have one here right now but these are those um, those you put them on a shelf to hang stuff from we could actually put two of those in there to use as her arms but I don't think I'm going to do that I kind of like just the simplicity of this um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue her head on I'm actually going to put a little more glue in here. Let's see. I'll use this to get some down in the groove there. towards the back Ooh, there 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 we go I'm gonna let that sit overnight and once it's done drying then I will take um, some um, clear acrylic spray and coat this so she's got a nice coating on her and there we go these knitting needles were 59 cents at the thrift store today and that was for two and then I got 20% off of that so she'll go in the ground like that I can put her in a pot or I could put her in the ground near my walkway so there's my garden angel and like I said these will be in our Etsy shop these are um, angel wings and all you need is a ball wooden ball and you can use any kind of stake this happens to be like from a banister or a railing so there we go there's our angel we could even put a flower here in her hand all right, um, look for me tomorrow night. Actually, got to brace that against there, and then that's going to set up overnight. Well, 
I'll figure it out. We'll tape it to her head until it dries. All right, I thank you, and uh, watch for me again tomorrow. This will be um, in my on my YouTube channel.